Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, a pimp named Philip Wave. I'd like to take a moment to address something near and dear to my heart. Cartoons that are making our goddamn kids gay. This one happens to be from Japan. It's a Japan anime called Naruto. Now I have never seen, played, read, or had anything to do with this bitch ass nigga Naruto. But the other day on Instagram, I stumbled upon his, his final form and went down a goddamn wormhole. Now Naruto has always been sus. He's always been kissing on men. He's always had whiskers like a goddamn cat. But nothing could prepare me for what they're calling his final form. Why does this nigga look like a gay bumblebee? How come the numbers on his shoulders say 666? Why does his stomach have a pedophile symbol? Why does he have horns like the goddamn devil? Why is he wearing black fingernail polish, cat whiskers, and rouge? What part of the jutsu is that? Why does this look like forced diversity on a Cheerios box? This looks like the Broadway musical of a B-movie. This nigga looks like a drag queen's take on the 100 acre wood. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to take a look for yourself. And I'll present for you, Naruto, his final form. Inude, aduma, ati aka oto inome, ati mo, oti ta te popo, hunyama, ati cha, hana nawa tuke, hanuma, hinoma, ati a cho 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 cho. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not say this lightly. If you are a fan of manga, if you are a fan of Naruto, if you are a fan of Dragon Ball or anything anime, you better get your mans, cause your mans is slipping. Hey guys, it's me Royce. I know that I make a lot of jokes, but I'd like to take a moment to say something serious. Do you like seeing stuff revenged? Do you like revengers? Well, revenging ain't free, and it ain't cheap. So please take a minute to consider joining our Patreon so we can revenge stuff because otherwise we're going to have to get jobs and I just can't hold down a job and revenge shit at the same time. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Come on, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. I don't, don't make me get a real job. It'd be humiliating. Come on, I'm a giant killer. Come on. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Hi, I'm British cunt John Oliver. Tonight I'm going to be using my formulaic quote comedy to shove my pro-social messages down your throat. It's thinly veiled, and I am smarter than you, and it is annoying for me to tell you things. We'll be using the same formula we always use, to say like, tonight's show is gonna be fun. How fun? Funner than doing Molly at a Raffi concert. That's right, I know you do Molly. I know you do, Kevin. Kevin, I've been in your drawers, and I know you do Molly. And let's not fool ourselves into pretending that Raffi isn't the voice of a generation. Tonight's story is so controversial, it may get us kicked off of YouTube. No, we're not going to be talking about that time that George Floyd smoked fentanyl and then went to the local bodega and tried to buy a banana and a pack of Newports with counterfeit money. No, tonight we're going to talk about something far more disgusting. Tonight, we're going to talk about that time that David Walsh's girlfriend got fucked by a retard. Let's go to a dramatic reenactment. Shannon, you know, I, I'm in love with you. I'm, I am I have a special feeling. I don't know, David. I think we should just take it slow. It feels like you're rushing it and stuff, you know? No, no, babe. You, you don't understand. Like, I love you. Like, like I have some poetry that I wrote. You, you want to hear the poetry? Because I, I think we're going to be together forever. Shannon, I need blowies. Oh, absolutely! Coming right up! Oh, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? Are you just gonna stand there and let my girlfriend suck your dick? What the fuck, bro? What are you, gay? That's the most beta shit ever, cock. Cock, God, you're such a beta! But I want you to look in my eyes. David, I want you to watch me. No, no, don't break eye contact, David. I want you to watch. Look in my eyes, David. Look into my cold, dead eyes, David. Oh, yeah. Oh, David. All done. Oh, my gosh. That was a big one. I got cummies all over my face and my titties. David, you want to come, like, sit off? 
What the fuck? What the actual fuck? No, that's fucking disgusting. Why would I do that? Fuck no. What? It's just potatoes, butters. You always talk about how I got the juiciest, most delicious kisses. It's it's cause I get I get blowies to all the guys in the special needs. That that's I thought you were retarded when we met. That's why I sucked your dick. I bet they taste like your mother's kisses, huh, David? Huh? Remind you of ma? Uh. <laughs> David, are you okay in there? Yeah, Mom. God, get out of here. David, you want some kisses? I volunteered at the special needs home today. Oh my God, Mom. That's disgusting. I told you. <laughs> and that, my friends, is why David Walsh is disgusting. Isn't that right, Shannon? <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Mersh. I need you guys to take a second to consider donating, you fucking pay pigs, you scum. Come on, this fucking kitty litter's not gonna buy itself. <laughs> Kick in a little butts for Night Daddy. Yeah, so I hit the roulette and bang these cam girls. <laughs> yeah, fund my life. Come on, fund me. Fund me, you piece of shit with a job. <laughs> fund me. <laughs> a word from Mohandas K. Gandhi's stankin' ass wife. She has paid Gandhi. The following tribute. I thank you for having had the privilege of being your lifelong companion and helpmate. I thank you for the most perfect marriage in the world, based on brahmacharya, self-control, and not on sex. I thank you for having considered me your equal in your life work for India. I thank you for not being one of those husbands who spend their time in gambling, racing, women, wine, and song, tiring of their wives and children as the little boy quickly tires of his childhood toys. How thankful I am that you are not one of those husbands who devote their time to growing rich on the exploitation of the labors of others. How thankful I am that you put God and country before bribes. You had the courage of your convictions and a complete and implicit faith in God. How thankful I am for a husband that put God and his country before me. And what, pray tell, did this stinking ass bitch do while being married to Gandhi, the greatest nigga since Jesus? For years, Kastura Bai performed the duties of treasurer of the public funds which the idolized Mahatma is able to raise by the millions. There are many humorous stories in Indian homes to the effect that husbands are nervous about their wives wearing any jewelry to a Gandhi meeting. The Mahatma's magical tongue, pleading for the downtrodden, charms the gold bracelets and diamond necklaces right off the arms and necks of the wealthy into the collection basket. I've talked a stinking ass bitch out of a lot of motherfucking things. I've talked them out of panties, clothes, bail money, rent, children, all kinds of shit. I ain't never talked no bitch out of a continent. This nigga Gandhi talked the Queen of England out of an entire motherfucking continent. One day, the public treasurer, Kastura Bai, could not account for a disbursement of four rupees. Is this nigga's face on the fucking money? Gandhi duly published an auditing in which he inexorably pointed out his wife's four rupee discrepancy. Did this stinking ass lady boy just say that Mohandas K. Gandhi audited his stinking ass wife over four motherfucking rupees? Where is my motherfucking money, bitch? I had often told this story before classes of my American students. One evening, a woman in the hall had given an outraged gasp. Mahatma or no Mahatma, she had cried. If he were my husband, I would have given him a black eye for such an unnecessary public insult. Sounds like a bitch that can't figure out why she's single. Just can't put her finger on it. Can't figure out the mystery, can she? Mrs. Gandhi considers the Mahatma not as her husband, but as her guru. One who has the right to discipline her for even insignificant errors. One of the saint who had been able to make an unflinching disciple out of his own wife. Rare miracle. Make an unflinching disciple out of his own wife. Right. Da, 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 da. It's the motherfucking Eagle Double G. Snoop Dogg! Da, 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 da. Oh, 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 oh. Hey guys, 
It's me, Royce. Ha, ba, 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 ba. Do you want to give me money? I like money and Star Trek and getting my dick wet. Yeah. If you want to support my grown ass man child addiction, please join our Patreon and give us money. <laughs> All right, guys. Fight the, fight the Spurgs. Yeah.